So now let's take some time and discuss the different types of encoders you're likely to encounter as you're dealing with a live stream. I'm calling this hardware versus software, but as we move on to our next slide, you'll see that there's actually three different kinds of encoders I want to talk about. The first actually is hardware. Now, hardware is typically very high-powered, very purpose-built solution, and it comes in a variety of different configurations. And then there's software, highly flexible, install it on your own system in multiple configurations, what have you. But then there's something called an appliance. An appliance is really where you take a purpose-built piece of hardware, usually something like a small server chassis of some sort, like a 1RU, add a, a capture card to it, and then add some software and turn it into something that is a very specific uh, looking piece of hardware for encoding. And, and you see these a lot in the field, but, but really it is different than the other two. It's kind of the hybrid of them. So let, let's jump in and, and talk about these a little more. A true hardware encoder could actually just be something as simple as a card or a chip that does all of that hardware encoding for you. It is literally very much a purpose-built firmware flashed solution that basically is only going to ever do one thing encode video at a very specific settings most often so it's got a very limited range of settings most likely but it's designed to work exactly for those in a really sort of high capacity high efficiency way you'll see these a lot for dedicated solutions enterprise and security systems will use them because they are designed to run sort of 24 7 but you'll also see them in solutions that require uh, really high power so a lot of the like 1080p solutions originally that we saw were all hardware based because it took so much horsepower to encode. Now the CPU's caught up with that, so we see this more in the solutions that are starting to emerge for 4K solutions. So cutting edge tends to be hardware because it's sort of easy to get that stability and reliability, but it's very focused, very narrow range, so it's not super flexible for you.